Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new YouTube video and in this video we are going to be talking about a lot of interesting things that are coming to Bloodstrike very very soon. I am talking about things like the Car 98 but also night maps, Halloween events. So let's hop into the video. I hope you enjoy and if you do make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button because I am going to keep you guys in the loop of everything new that is coming to the game. So let's go. All right, so there has been a Bloodstrike dev Q&A, and this is the article that came out of it. And I accidentally stumbled upon this article, but it is super, super interesting. So let's see what the developers have been asked, and let's see what the answers are. So the first question is, and this is very, very much asked around the community, when is the Car 98 going to be released? Their answer is, we originally planned to release the Car 98 in December to mark a significant milestone. However, due to strong demand from our players and the lack of recent updates to sniper rifles, we have expedited its development. We are pleased to announce that the Car 98K will now be available within the October Striker Pass. So that is literally one month from now we are gonna get the next new weapon which is confirmed to be the car 98k by the developers dude this is gonna be super super exciting news i can't wait to get my hands on it i know we just got a new weapon but a new sniper rifle is just something else so let's go guys next question is are there any new modes and events that players can look forward to now as you guys can see there is an image that is teased over here a blood strike coming soon and if we zoom in on that image you can actually see that this is one of the maps that is for um, I believe it is hot zone and you can see that there is some kind of like uh, pumpkins going on a very very dark map as well it's nighttime so we are gonna have some Halloween vibes we are gonna have special modes so that is something to look forward to one month from now guys it's gonna be a major update and uh, it just looks amazing. All right, let's see what the developers actually have to say about this question. Since the launch of Blood Strike, players have uncovered the mysteries of Blood Crystal and Blood Dawn. They've discovered the horrifying truths of Shutter Island, and they've amassed wealth in Payday Rumble. The forthcoming October event, Trick or Treat, is surely something to anticipate. This event will offer a variety of rewards, including weapon skins, striker skins, emotes, and an abundant resources for you to collect. We are also introducing two new nighttime maps providing a unique experience under the cover of darkness as night falls the intensity of the action will remain undiminished additionally numerous new gameplay features await for you while i am excited to share some more details i'll keep some surprises for later all the excitement awaits in lust Rikes october event trick or treat thank you for your continued support and enthusiasm we remain committed to creating an engaging and enjoyable gaming environment for all of our players so that is something that honestly personally i am reading this and i am super super pumped i mean trick or treat event everyone loves halloweens everyone loves halloween vibes so um they definitely are working towards that with the halloween nighttime vibes um they are working on obviously new skins but it does look like we are gonna get a similar event like we had with payday so even free to play players they are gonna get something nice out of this as well so uh yeah i'm very very excited honestly up next, we have another important question. How does our anti-cheat system work? Because there has been a massive increase in cheaters in Bloodstrike, unfortunately. And uh, let's see what they say about that. So our anti-cheat efforts are powered by NetEase Games' proprietary QSEC system. They monitor abnormal data in real time. This includes detecting client modifications, tick manipulations, and tampering with damage or HP values. By cross-verifying player reports with system detection, we rigorously combat cheating with severe penalties, including account and device bans. In response to community feedback regarding AFK and premature exits, we have made several adjustments to our detection mechanism and enforced measurements. They've improved the logic for detecting AFK behavior, in squad fight and hot zone they've enhanced mechanics to identify gyro based afk -ing. in battle royale and squad fight players in the master tier and above will face stricter penalties for afk -ing and premature exit including higher behavior score deductions they've also modified matchmaking in squad fight to reduce the likelihood of legend tier players being matched with 
master players. So these are a few of the adjustments that they are doing for um, penalizing people, for being AFK, for quitting early. And on top of that, they kind of explain what the anti-cheat system does. Um, honestly, anti-cheats, it is infested in any game. Just look at any of the major games, you know, Call of Duty, Apex Legends. I think any game nowadays has a lot of cheaters in them. And um, I think companies try to do the most against cheaters but i do think there's only so much you can do but you know it is a good thing that they are working on it they are banning people literally all the time uh we have the ban reports that we get on a weekly i think weekly basis um so i mean they are working on it but it is what it is i do feel like there is more cheaters on mobile than there is on pc personally i don't run into that many cheaters i have seen cheaters in blood strike but i do think it's more of a mobile issue the next issue that is being addressed is when will Shutter Island be optimized? And I think I speak for everyone that with the latest update, everyone, everyone has experienced some kind of like FPS drop. Whether you're playing on mobile or even on PC, the optimization has gone down. So let's see what they have to say about that. As mentioned in our previous dev talk, performance optimization remains a cornerstone of our ongoing efforts. This is not merely a goal, but a continuous direction we are dedicated to pursuing. Our mission is to enhance performance to ensure every player enjoys a seamless gaming experience while playing Bloodstrike. Our back-end data monitoring in indicates a steady improvement in the game's frame rate alongside maintaining stable frame rates we have also significantly enhanced visual quality we trust that you have noticed a substantial amount of improvements in graphics lightning and overall smoothness compared to april however with the introduction of new content and modes such as payday there has been an increase in special effects and scenes loading which has led to some lag and performance issues we have implemented emergency fixes for these issues and will continue to monitor and adjust as necessary your feedback is invaluable so please continue to share it with us to help further optimize the game this is an ongoing challenge and while optimization and iteration takes time we are committed to relentlessly improving to deliver a superior game experience for everyone so if that all sounded like too much jabber to you basically they are aware of the issues they are working on optimizations and they are aware that the latest updates have been causing some uh stutters on the map have been causing a lot of performance issues so yes they know they're working on it when are we gonna see improvements we don't know it's a complex process and it is something that is ongoing all the time and they are trying to improve it all the time so i do hope that in, within the next few updates we do get some improvements because even on pc as i said uh we are experiencing a lot of fps drops uh which is not good so i can't even imagine what it's like on mobile this is what we have for the dev talk part but that is not all i spotted something else on the website i spotted something else on the website which we're gonna have a look at right now let's go all right Good news, everyone. Here we are with the other part of the news. We are getting another phone giveaway. Yes, you heard that right. Bloodstrack is giving phones away again. Like actually giving away phones. Anyway, let's see what you need to do to be able to qualify for this phone giveaway. So let's have a look. So what's up, Strikers? The September smartphone giveaway goes on. Bloodstrike wouldn't be what it is today without your love and support. We hope you enjoy our game. Let's check out the new giveaway. So basically, we're going to have a Samsung Galaxy giveaway. This is going to be running from September the 14th until the October 14th. So one month time, we're giving away two smartphones and the prize is a Samsung Samsung Galaxy S24 with 256 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes RAM. So that is a very, very nice price. It's a pricey price as well. So how are we going to join this giveaway? Well, it's super simple, guys. We are going to split this up in two sections. If you are a new player or if you are an old player. So for the new players, listen up. Players who register after September 14 are considered as new players. The new players who reach level 10 during this event can join the smartphone giveaway. It's as simple as that. Now, for the old people or the older players like myself, all you need to do is players who registered before September 14th are considered old players. Old players who use Battle Royale or Squad Fight ranked or casual matches for more than 12 days during this event can enter the smartphone giveaway. Completing at least one game a day counts as one valid day. So what that means is you need to have 12 days during this event period where you play at least one match 
of battle royale or squad fight super easy to do doesn't matter if it's ranked doesn't matter if it's casual just play one match during this event period for 12 days doesn't have to be 12 days straight just 12 days is good now what are you guys winning well obviously you guys are winning a samsung galaxy smartphone but that is not it if you are a winner you can actually opt in to get a cash prize instead of the phone and that could be the case for people that cannot share their delivery address with the developers or potentially maybe you already have a good phone and you're not interested in receiving another one so you can just get another 1000 usd worth so this is a huge giveaway i know there's only two winners and this is going to be i believe across the regions but anyway it is still nice you know you never know if you actually win um so w we want more smartphone giveaways <laughs> and um yeah man w i am very very excited for the future of blood strike this upcoming month is going to be absolutely crazy for september but the halloween event in october really really hypes me up let me know what you guys think about all of this news i think it's absolutely great news i'm super excited anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you soon bye bye